All right, 10 4 6 5, uh, box 782 to 1075. Urgent. 10 9, go to the urgent, okay? Well, collapse of uh, part of that crane coming down on 10th Avenue. Notify the PD, no vehicles northbound on 10th Avenue, okay? I repeat, no vehicles northbound on 10th Avenue. We've had some sort of collapse of that crane uh, at this time, okay? Be advised, it looks like the whole crane came down on the street, okay? All right, 10 4. All right, we'll buildings, uh, last two floors of fast trucking in an extra engine, engine 6-5, okay? All right, 10-4, notify PD to shut down, uh, uh, 42nd Street also, okay? I gotta try to get an accounting of all these construction workers. Let's do the command pulse, we'll get out of the side for you. All right, hey guys, we're 1084, the second alarm, uh, 1086 code, uh, foam signal coming in. We got a crane collapse onto 10th well, Avenue okay. and 42nd Street. The crane is on fire. We're in the process of evacuating neighboring buildings. We have a screen hitting fire from the nearest building. Did I get a report that they have another staff pipe or we should be? That I don't know yet. I haven't addressed that with that building. Right now, the only water we got put on is across the street. Hey guys, so they're trying to put water on it from a, a building across the street. It's the closest building right now. I still don't have an accounting of whether or not they have all their personnel. They're only individual workers, okay? They get a supervisor, okay? You can see the crane right, over there on the ground. I don't know if, uh, where that cement mixed the way that, uh, that boom landed and what the condition was down there. I would just give us a full truck. Did you copy that last transmission? Yeah, 10 4. We're working with 23. We're going to set it up. All right, 10 4. I'll leave you guys to handle that uh, situation there. 10 and 9 to squad 1 8. Squad 1 8. And so, as soon as I get a second fist fire, will that work up there with you guys? 10 4. Um, we're also going to hook up 26's line, and we're going to try to see if we can hit that. <laughs> All right, 10 4. We'll try as best we can with as many uh, lines as possible. I'll try to get you that flip fire as soon as it gets in, all right? 10 4. If you could also send somebody with a four floor entry saw, we have a piece of glass that's impeding the angle. All right, I got seven trucks here. How about I send seven trucks in? Just give me a quick uh, rundown of what else they need to bring in with them. Right now, it's just a four floor entry saw. We have a glass perimeter we're trying to get out of the way to increase the angle of the good spot. Go ahead. I'm with a 
outside supervisor. He says the four pass went down. Go on. Battalion 9 to Battalion 7. Uh, Jimmy, I got, uh, uh, John, I'm sorry, I got 21 engines coming to you. There's another engine coming up to you, all right? Yeah, keep it out of the fence, I'll take one more. All right, as soon as I get another one, I'll give you another engine. Yeah. 10-4, that's three engines. Let me know when you got that system charged on 4 Street. Charging the system right now. We are operating at 555 10th Avenue, across the street. We have engine 54, getting some uh, one line on it. We're going to try and get another line. We, we got water on it, but it appears to be uh, pure fed. So you said that was 550, right? Six and all other battalions, we're going to switch to a command channel. Does everyone have their aid with them? 10th floor, we'll, we'll go to command. Command to Battalion 8, we're going to switch to a command channel. Command channel. Hey, Paul, I'm going to put my 8 on it, okay? Uh, you can still reach me on 1. Battalion 8 to Battalion 8 Alpha, go to 2. Go to 2. Not a 2 for the command. Command. Yeah, you got three engines hooked up to the building side means on the exposure 4 side, 4 low and 10th Avenue. 10 4. Out of seven to battalion six. What is your location, Steve? We're going down two blocks. Are you filming an engine three under low? Who's in the Hey guys, they got water on it. They said they were going to bring a blitz fire up there to get some more pressure onto it. All right, guys, they're getting water on it from all the way up there. They didn't bring the blitz fire up yet. With the walk we have, 44 flights. Alright guys, we're on the, the roof. Uh, on the other side here. They're not reaching uh, on the other side of the crane. Can't see visible fire, but you got, uh, it's on fire. Let me get on the other side here. 240 feet and halfway. We'll double that, make it about 500 feet, plus another maybe 100 feet to get water on top of that crane. So uh, for the MPOs, probably you're somewhere around 550 to 600 feet of, uh, of height on this building type. Battalion 8 to Battalion 7. Make sure you Okay, go to channel 2, John. Engine 1 to command. Go. There's nothing we can do here. What I want you to do is stop anybody going up and systematically on the way down have everybody do a primary. Uh, so have somebody do a primary on every floor down uh, to make sure that no, no debris or no nothing fell in, okay? I doubt it. There's no need for anybody else to open it up here, okay? Yeah, uh, Ralphie, I got the rescue medics here. They're just gathering their gear. Don't start up until you have them with you, all right? All right. If you could uh, maybe just... 8 Alpha, Battalion 8. There's a uh, 3421 Firehouse right there. Battalion 8 Alpha, go. All right, Chief, we're on 20. You want us to keep going, or you want us to start making our way down to the search and shoot down? Just, yeah, you're going to start your working your way down. Just coordinate with uh, Battalion 7 to make sure that we do uh, we do uh, we don't overdo our, uh, our primary. You just gotta do a primary on every floor. Coordinate it with Battalion 7. Alright, first of all, I'm with 7 Alpha. We'll start doing primaries here. Alright, we'll start on the way down. Uh, we'll start over, we're gonna go up and over one more floor and we'll start on 20. 10 4. They're not really getting a. Uh hitting it from where they are. Yeah, I believe they're bringing a blitz fire up there. 44 inches. Go ahead. 
We have a mine in place on the one through, under the one through corner for the uh, fuel cell by the, 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 the street. All right, 10 floor. Hazmat 1 is here. I'm going to have them start working and see if they can access and take a look at what's going on there. All right, 10 floor. Engine, engine 4 floor, command. Engine 4 4 to command. He's hitting it now. 7 Alpha 7. 4 4, this is resource unit. Go with your message. I'll relay to command. Alright, that's what the building uh, that we were directed to take a look at is going to put us too far away from the reach of the stream. It's a 40 second street address. I want to see if you wanted us to continue into the, uh, the 10th Avenue uh, location right across from the, right across from the crane. <laughs> 10 4 I'll relay that message. The Empire State Building there. Got all the buses coming in and out. Luckily it didn't pull that way. We're in a perfect spot to put it up here. Yeah. You got three of us out of the rig if you need anything. Thank you, Zach. The 4-4? The 4-4, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead with that, uh, the other building. If you can't reach your 9 one, just let us know when you get there. Four four ten four. 4 Resource unit to Pion 7. Pion 7. Who do you have in the fire building with you? 65 right now. 10 thank you. Please go to the Tyne 8. Tyne 8 to command. Command. Okay, finally, here's the good news. On 3-9, the tie back from the rail to the building appears to be okay. I uh, emphasize appears, okay? Command, Engine 3 4 to command. Alright, guys, I believe they're hooking up that blitz fire. They're not getting enough of pressure. That line is. I'm on 10 4. Engine 3 4 to command. Now they do have the Bambi bucket, which is uh, at uh, Floyd Bennett Field. The NYPD has the uh, bucket, but I don't know uh, how trained they are to use that. Now they have a foam task force coming in because this is fuel burning. Um, so they have three foam tankers. That's not one command. Evacuate that 
All right, if that's the case, come on down and uh, just uh, report to the command post, all right? If, you, if you, there's no operations needed. Were there any fire on the roof or anything like that? Negative, no fire. All right, uh, listen, just one other point. They're saying that the counterweights on the train are compromised, so I don't know if it will affect that building, so you might have to evacuate where you are, right? Yes, we'll run away on that. That's the question. What are you in? Come down, meet us on uh, 23. Battalion 9 to engine 3 4. Engine 3 4. Engine 3 4. Chief, we're on the top floor, 41st floor. When do we get an engine? Fire complement here between 65 and 34. We can start putting water on the fire. All right, listen to me. I, I need to account for your chauffeur, and he's gonna have to get his rig out of where he's located. Okay. All right, 10-4. He was with the injured member from 21. Last I saw him. Almost directly across the street. Three, four, chauffeur, right now. Three, four, chauffeur, copy that. Over there, right now. Yeah. Engine three, four, chauffeur. I want you to get that rig out of that location, okay? It's in the collapse zone, all right? Look at it right now, Chief. And just three, four, sofa. Listen to me. If you can, can you come down 41st Street, uh, west of 10th Avenue, and see if we can, what we got to do is supply 550, the, uh, the building across the street that we're operating in at, all right? I'm on 36 now. I'm working my way down from 30. Copy, Chief. All right, let me know when you need help, and I'll get somebody over there to help you, all right? Still hold on the 40th floor. At 104. Thank you. Um, all right, uh, I'm at the pass on the way down. Um, one of you guys came up with the idea of throwing a multiversal in the, uh, in the lift with some hose to see if maybe we could set that up. I want to put you in charge of that, okay? All right, 10 I have nobody downstairs, Chief, so, uh, I'm going to make my way up to the top floor to assess the crane. 10 well, you're not going down. We're just going to have somebody throw it in downstairs. Uh, they'll see if we can get this thing up unmanned, and then you'll be on the top floor, and you could, uh, you could pull it out and, uh, see if you have a shot. I was up there at 41 and 42, and um, it didn't look like to me we really had a good shot, but uh, i give you a second set of eyes to determine whether you can do that. All right, 10 for 40 seconds, four is the, the highest floor. Yeah, 40, 40 is the last one that they actually had to start to work. 41 and 42 were recently poured, and they have uh, supports on them, but I made it up to 42, and uh, you know, I, there's no problem working on it, but just be aware that they have supports on it. Ladder 4, Batani. Chief, we do have a deck on 41. It looks like we'd have good access to hit this fire on the crane itself and we can get a line over here. All right, 10 what, uh, what we're going to try to do is have a multiversal thrown into and some length of hose thrown into the lift to see if the lift will work unmanned. And uh, if that happens, just go in there with Rescue 1, come up with a plan, and, uh, and let me know what you got in mind. All right, 10 Chief. If we can get a uh, engine making their way up, just so we can get this started, just in case it could be of use. 10-4. 23. We're, uh, we're standing fast with uh, the Italian 7. 10-4, continue to stand fast. Engine 3 2 4, the satellite to command for 10-8-4. Italian 2. Engine 3 Italian 9 to Italian 6. Oh, Alright guys, so I don't know if you heard, there's some, uh, no, you have three engine working on supplying your building, Jay. FDNY members over right, there. Uh, um, over that this building yeah, was under construction. Fire. It's uh, done up to the 40th floor, but you can get up to 42 to just board the floors on 41 and 42. Okay, this time, on the 40th floor, we're going to have engine 3-4 and rescue 1 and ladder 4. We're going to see if they can figure out a way to, to get water on it from this, this, this location, Jay. Uh, it's going to be a while. We're not, uh, we're not in a rush, and we don't have the materials yet. But that's what they're, that's what they're tasked with. Okay, ten four. Well, this is INA. INA ten four. I'm going to go try to get two engines up there where they're at in New York, and see if we can hit it. Yeah, right now we have 34 engines. They're on 34, the 34th floor, walking up. So, um, just uh, stay yeah, just uh, if you can only send up one more to and let the tie in seven figure out who to go, because he stays halfway up. He can send somebody up from twenty from the twenty-fourth floor, okay? Ten four. Engine three two four and the satellite to command. Go ahead. 
So with the foam is 84. Down 42nd Street. Battalion 9 arrested 
I just don't know if you're going to get the arc. That's right. Resource, Mr. Go ahead, 324. Up a little bit. Up a 450, little bit. 460, West 42nd Street is supplied. That's the taller glass building. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Go ahead, 724. Yeah, you're going to get the arc. That's right. Resource, Mr. Mayor. Go ahead, 324. Yeah, you're going to get the arc. That's right. Resource, Mr. Mayor. Go ahead, 724. All right, guys, they're in the process, uh, engine 260 in the fall, uh, hooking up a uh, supply line to engine 260. Walk your way up and uh, communicate with uh, Battalion 7. They're going to uh, coordinate the release, guys. Okay? I'm going Foam truck is just ready if they have to pull up 50 feet. They got some slack. Uh, they can pull up in case this thing comes down. Uh, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen right now. Um, we're just standing by seeing what's going on. It looks like almost all fire is out. Okay. Alright, we're just looking to confirm. The fire was confined to the plane. We had no extension into the building. Is that correct? I think we're dealing with the engine number here to put that question to Battalion 8, Kate. Okay. 4 command to Battalion 8. Okay, we are operating on the roof deck. Battalion 8 is 4 Cement canister. Well, All right, guys. Here you got the foam uh, 260. Ready to go if need be. Uh, engine 260 is over here and they're ready to go if they have to. I'm gonna see how I get over to the other side because I filmed over here enough, so stand by. Alright, guys, they're gonna be doing a uh, press conference shortly. Uh, the crane is right up there. They pretty much got all visible fire knocked down, but they're just uh, protecting the area in case it collapses. Okay, he's got the uh, new police commissioner, uh, chief of department, chief of operations, first deputy uh, fire commissioner. We got a uh, fifer right there. Was the uh, first chief to respond on 9-11. Hi 
Hi guys, 10 seconds. I'm gonna do the press conference. Uh, they're doing a uh, briefing here, OEM and everybody. Hey guys, here's the mayor. The mayor just got here, Adams.
are part of the crane operation. There's an engineer that writes up the plans. There's essentially a general contractor. There's the user. We will be looking at all of those folks. And what we intend to do, similar to uh, Posty and Street Garage situation, we are putting in place a uh, contract so that we will have an independent assessment uh, as well. So the folks who are involved in the crane operation, the general contract of the project, we're looking at all, as, as I'm sure you will see, we're looking at all of their histories to see uh, what those stories are. So, uh, yeah, hold on. We're going to just, we're going to take questions one at a time. So, Julia, go ahead. Yeah, Karen, go ahead. We're extinguishing the hose lines. We stretch it. With hand extinguishers. Uh, okay, yeah, Mike. Um, just to talk, can you talk about you know, the green wound up hitting the 55510? Second building. So, our DOB structural engineers are en route before we started. They're probably here. We will look at the structural integrity of the building. All right, guys, I don't know how much you heard of that, uh, but uh, you heard of that press conference because it was uh, very loud so I don't know how much you heard uh, I'm gonna be closing this up shortly I'm gonna see if I can get over to the command post real quick
All right, guys, I'm gonna go back around to the other side before I take up. We got engine 33 here with the Purple K unit. That's part of the uh, 1086 uh, response. All right, guys, there's the foam tender. It's still uh, ready to go in case it collapses. Uh, with engine 260. All right, guys, we're coming down 42nd Street. I'm gonna get some of the units over here. With staff chief's vehicle. So you got sock compressor, engine seven, ladder five. Hello. Getting sock compressors back in service now. Uh, 44 hazmat tech. Rescue one over there. It looks like they're getting ready to take up. All right, guys. Rescue one is uh, with the collapse here. We're still putting water on it. The guys are very exhausted. All right, guys, I'm gonna be taking up from here. Give me a little bit to get the video up and edit. Hazmat over there, squad 288, engine five, division three, tile out of seven, lot of 30 over there. Uh, engine uh, nine with satellite one. A whole bunch of other units. Uh, we're going 10-8. Resource to engine four row. Uh, they didn't get this con, uh, con Ed in their suits here. Resource to engine 6-5. 